All right, guys, today we're here to talk about something really, really cool, and this is called the Loom Pad. Now, this has actually been out for a while now, and I never heard of it. And you guys know on this channel, for those of you guys who watch me, I'm a really big fan of 3D content. Uh, I showed you guys videos on how to get NVIDIA 3D Vision for all you guys who remember playing 3D PC games back in the day until NVIDIA dropped support. I have, I'm such a fan of 3D that I have a specific computer uh, locked at the last driver that it actually works with and have a bunch of games that are still working on there. And I, I went through a video on all that uh, on this channel if you guys want to check that out. But then on top of that, I have a projector that is 3D capable and I collect 3D Blu-rays and I watch it on my 3D projector. I, and all that stuff i have the playstation 3d tv as you guys can tell i'm a big fan of 3d and i don't know how this one missed my radar this is the first 3d tablet that you can actually get your hands on and it's sitting right here in front of me this is the box that comes in and this is the tablet right here and it is a 3d tablet and you don't need glasses for this so think 3ds like where basically you you know how you play your 3ds and you didn't need glasses and 3d worked on there it, it's kind of a similar idea to that except now in tablet form and obviously a lot more possibilities because it's based on Android, so you can get a lot, uh, they have certain games that work with it, they have a store for movies and all that stuff, and, you know, a lot of different possibilities because it's on an Android tablet where things are more open as opposed to the 3DS. And of course, a much bigger screen here at a, I think it's a 10.8 inch screen that this thing has on it. Uh, and it's, it's obviously something that I can't believe missed my radar. And as soon as I heard about it, I reached out to to, to Leah, I was like, hey, you know, I, I got to check this out for the channel. I do 3D content all the time. And, you know, here we are. Uh, I have the tablet now in front of me. We're going to show you uh, guys first what I, all the apps are that this thing comes with because there's like seven or eight pre-installed applications that all do different things related to 3D that are on there by Leah. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and check that out. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming Techie is the Gaming Tech, Gaming Techie. Alright guys, so here is the tablet that we're talking about here, the LoomPad, the 3D LoomPad. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive into some of the applications that this thing comes with that's specifically for this tablet. Again, this is running Android, so you can see that you can access the full Play Store on here. Uh, if you were to open this up, you can see that the full Play Store is on here. Uh, you can download whatever you want. Everything will run. This is running uh, Android 10. So you can run whatever you want on here from, from Google Play Store and all that stuff works as you would expect. But of course, we're here for the 3D nature of things and what that can do. So the first thing we got to talk about here is the apps that are on here. So let's talk about first the App Store. So the first App Store icon here is the App Store uh, specifically for 3D. So you can see here that there is a about 100 games that are currently on the App Store right now. Uh, you can see that there's a bunch on here and also apps as well. Most of the apps, there's not that many, are, are usually ones made by uh, by the company. So you can see that there's not that many, but there are about 100 games on here. Uh, some of the games that are on here are actually pretty cool. Um, a lot of them I haven't heard of, so don't expect like a lot of like, you know, brand names that you've heard from like the, you know, from the Google Play Store and stuff. The, the ones that I recognize off the bat is Monitor Combat 5, which uh, which we all know already because that's been a popular game from Gameloft because they do have a contract with Gameloft, which is really cool. And the other one that I recognized was Daytona Rush, which just recently just came out, actually. So that's pretty cool that that is out here. And, of course, the other uh, there's two more Gameloft games. There's Asphalt 8 and Asphalt Nitro 2. So, like I said, they have a partnership with Gameloft, so hopefully even more games come from Gameloft, as you can see there. But those are the four that you would probably recognize, or at least the ones that I recognize. But there are a lot of other cool games. There's Runners, like Kite Drop and Fire and Ice Run. Uh, there's other ones on here. Oh, Cross Your Road. I forgot about that one. We all recognize Cross Your Road, of course. Um, the Puppet Kings one is a really cool game as well. Um glitch dash uh, there's like i said a lot of different games to explore there's no there's a, over a hundred of them on there uh some of them you recognize and they are adding more over time so we'll see how that goes but that's what the app store is about downloading a game specifically made because you could download regular games from the google play store where of course they won't be in 3d you'll you'll just be playing them as a regular 2d tablet so the ones from the app store would be the games that actually work uh, in 3d so hopefully more and more of those keep coming the next thing we're going to talk about here is Leah Stream here. So Leah Stream 
uh, if you think about Lea Stream, it's basically a, a streaming platform for people who actually want to share 3D content. So you can see here that there's different categories, extreme 3D, entertainment, CG, animation, travel, retail. And then you can go ahead and upload your own. So if you want to share 3D content that, you even, that you've taken with this tablet um, or you know whatever the case may be, uh, if you found it on the internet or something like that and you want to share it, this is where you would find it. You can see some people have some 3D trailers that are sitting on here. Uh, you can sort by what's trending this month. You can also see what is extreme 3D. So you can see people are sharing different things on there. Uh, there's a music video in here. There's some Pixar stuff in here. There's the LG demo compilation on there as well. Um, I actually just shared something for the first time, but it, it has to get approved before it gets on here. So we'll see how that goes. But I did add uh, a content that is not on here. That's like a demo experience. That's really cool. So these are really cool. You could just literally just click on them. If you were to click on this, you can see the comments right here that people are leaving saying how good it is. You can see it right there. You literally just hit play. Of course, you guys won't be able to see this in the camera here, but it starts playing in 3D. Now, if a, if a, if a video like this has ST, ST is what you want to use. It usually runs better in 3D. Uh, you won't be able to tell us in the in there, but right now this is in 3D, and I'm watching it right on here. It's streaming right on here. Quality is really uh, pretty good, and uh, yeah. And then you could of course switch it to 2D if you want to, um, but why would you want to when you're using a tablet like this? So yeah, that's what that app is for. The next app we're going to talk about is LeaTube. So LeaTube is really really cool because obviously the videos and stuff that come on here. Obviously, they need to be made with 3D content in mind, of course. Um, you know, there's obviously not hundreds and hundreds of videos like that because this is still relatively new, even though this tablet's been out for a while. 3D content is still hard to find sometimes. So what's really cool is that, as you can see here, Facebook, YouTube, Vimo, and Twitch, if I were to open up the regular YouTube application uh, that I have somewhere right there, and you find any video that you want to talk about, let's say I go to one of my videos here uh, just for the sake of doing it. If I were to open up my VR Co-op Nights video, right here at the bottom, you can hear this. You can hit the share icon, and then you can hit LeaTube. Basically, what it does is whatever video you're watching on YouTube, it processes it for a few seconds here, where it says AI is hard at work, and then it literally makes the 3D the video you're watching in 3D. And for some videos, it does a really, really, really good job. Uh, this is my video in 3D. It actually does add a 3D effect. Like this is definitely popping off the screen. I feel like I'm looking at myself in there. Uh, this is really cool. It makes it feel like I'm more in the game. So it actually does add a really cool effect uh, while you're watching anything on YouTube. What I have found so far that it does really, really well with is music videos in 4K and um, stuff like that. That's really, really nice. And those videos that you watch, that I don't want to get copyright striked on stuff. So that's why I'm not showing you anything specifically. But uh, where I was watching stuff before, one of the other things that it does really well with is like the videos that do the 4K HDR, like around the world tour, where it does like Costa Rica and all the in New York and stuff like that. They look outstanding because it's in 4K. And then you can also. Uh, put it into 3d and it looks fantastic uh, i can't even explain to you how good this thing looks on here or, or even with processing things that weren't supposed to be in 3d those animals and stuff that pop up in those world tour videos that you guys are probably familiar with that are on youtube fantastic in 3d comes with the little uh, adobe atmos app because this does has Dolby atmos speaker so you can see there's a movie and music algorithm that you can change it to and then dynamic if you want there's also the lea cam so lea cam is where it actually lets you take a 3d picture uh so you can see on the back of this device here there are the two cameras right next to each other the two 16 megapixel cameras so you can actually take this and take a 3d picture like i'm looking at right now it does take a 3d picture uh, things definitely look 3D in my room. I know you guys can't tell whether it be videos or pictures or anything like that and save it to here and then be able to view it in 3D, which is really cool. Then there is the Leah player. There are some videos on here that come preloaded. So for example, uh, you know, there, there's all these down here are all preloaded. These down here, there's a music video preloaded. There's a Coco one that was preloaded on here. That was really cool. So, uh, and then there's some pictures here that are preloaded. And like I said, some of these are just insane, guys. You can't tell on this camera, but this is popping off the screen right now like you can't even tell. Uh, it's crazy how well this thing does. Uh, the best image to actually look at is this one right here. Like this image right here, if I'm looking at it, these things look like they're popping out to here. And look how much more space I have to go down. Like it looks like it's all the way up to here uh, with how crazy this 3D image is. And what's cool is that, like I said, like with the camera and stuff, you can actually just take pictures and, and 
see them right here on the 3D, which is really nice. And this app even lets you do something which is really cool. So like I could take pictures on my iPhone. There's a Loom Link app on your phone that you can download, uh, which I did. And then you can transfer pictures that weren't taken in 3D and it kind of like converts them to 3D like this one here. And this is a picture of me and my wife when we did the Disney World trip. And it actually makes this look 3D. Like that that um, Animal Animal Kingdom tree behind us, the, the tree of life over there, looks in 3D. It's really cool how we're popping out of the scene. Uh, and it's really cool how I did that for an image I didn't even take on a 3D camera. I just kind of converted it. Uh, and it does a pretty good job, especially with some pictures, on what it could do there. So... Leah Player, like I said, you could use it for all sorts of media. It comes with some media on here. You could use a LumaLink app to convert some pictures that you've taken on your iPhone and transfer it really seamlessly on here. And, of course, you can also transfer your own picture uh, videos on here. So if you have Blu-ray backups like I do, uh, like you can see here, Moana is one of them that I have a Blu-ray backup of uh, in 3D because I collect 3D Blu-rays, uh, Avatar, and stuff like that. You can convert them uh, into SBS format and just transfer them onto the Android tablet just like you would anything else. Put them in the movies folder, and then they show up on here, and you can go ahead and watch these videos really easily in 3D, and they look fantastic on here. As somebody who has a 3D projector and watches VR videos and stuff, obviously there's nothing like VR Oculus Quest watching a 3D movie in a, in a theater with other people, uh, but this is probably uh, second best because the pop-out is insane. Uh, it does really, really well. Uh, it, it's really cool, uh, really cool. Like I said, it's hard. It's obviously not something I can show off on here, but I got to tell you, if you guys are fans of 3D, this stuff is not like you know fake 3D or anything. It does a really good job with the 3D video files and the 3D movies that you guys download out there or convert from your Blu-rays and stuff. It does a fantastic job if they're in SBS format to be able to play them right there on the Leah player. The next thing we're going to talk about here is a Leah viewer. This is where you can kind of look at 3D objects that were possibly made. If you have like 3D objects, if you're working with them and stuff like, for example, has a few of them on here, you can kind of spin them around and you can see them in 3D. This is really cool how awesome this looks in 3D in front of me. Like this, this is looks like it's flapping. Like I can grab its fin right here uh, and it's just insane. Uh, but yeah, you can process some 3D, some 3D objects and stuff on here, especially if you found others online. Really cool to be able to have this on here. Really cool to show off. Leah Frame is really cool. Leah Frame basically lets you grab a bunch of images and kind of add them together. And you can prop this up like this on a table and it kind of just cycles through the 3D images. So whoever comes next to it sees the 3D image and like, oh my god, look at that. It's popping out of the screen kind of thing. So it's like a, uh, a really cool frame that kind of has a 3D slideshow integrated to it. So that's really cool. It comes with this Mosaic 3D application. Uh, this has some paid stuff on here as well. This is a third-party application that comes installed in here. There is some free stuff. It's basically just looking at some 3D models that they make, all like very educational and stuff like that, uh, which is really cool. You can see all the different categories that they have here. Some of them are paid, some of them aren't. As you can see here, this one I can play right here. This is a gift. As you can see, the little gift icon on there, but some of them you do have to pay for. But if you just click play on here, it starts loading the 3D image. And then when you get to here, you can kind of rotate him and, and kind of see him in 3D again. This stuff just looks really, really cool. Um, and then you can kind of look at his body parts, like you can see down here. Switch the body parts. Uh, look at his arm. Like This is all interactive stuff that you can see from his body, but it's all in 3D, which makes it even more fun to look at. So a lot of things to explore in that app here. Uh, if you want to explore all these different things, the Titanic is even on here bunch of different things that you can explore through here. Leah Flix is the next thing we're going to look at here. Leah Flix is actually really cool. So if you don't have your own 3D Blu-rays and you don't know how to make backups and stuff like that of your 3D uh, copies and you don't want to go downloading files yourself and putting them on here like I talked about before, they also have a 3D store. So you actually get two bundled movies for free. So you get Gravity and Pacific Rim, which look fantastic on the screen. And they also have other movies that you can just go ahead and rent them, you know, for two bucks all the movies are two dollars you can rent them watch them for 48 hours and uh yeah fantastic that they have a 3d store on here this is something recent that they just did they have a lot of 3d movies on here the only thing i wish they did is that the trailers were actually in 3d all the trailers are in 2d but obviously the movie then is in 3d afterwards but um yeah it's really cool that these are all on here i hope that they keep adding more uh over to this all the time um great to see some movies on here that you may not be able to find that you can just pay two dollars real quick support them and uh you know watch these movies in 3d and like i said they look fantastic on here don't think that this is some sort of fake 3d or something that's not going to look good because they look fantastic on the screen with no glasses which is just insane and then we have leah on here so this is another one that's kind of like 
Um, the other one that I talked about where you share 3D videos, well, this is the same thing, but it's a social media platform essentially for sharing 3D pictures. So you can see here that people are sharing 3D pictures. You can click on stuff, look at them in 3D. You can see what people say in their comments. You can People can comment on these things. So it's like a, a TikTok or, or not TikTok, a Instagram kind of for people who are sharing 3D pictures, which is really cool because then you can come in here and download these pictures if you want um, and kind of save them to there so you can look at the comments here. Uh, of uh, or look at their other photos that they did look at their comments here of what people are leaving you can write a comment yourself you can post it right there really really cool stuff uh that you actually have a social media or platform for sharing pictures like this and watching and finding 3d pictures just like you can with those videos that i showed before so that's kind of an overview of the specific apps that come here and what they actually do so that's an overview of all the apps that are 3d specific that come on the device let's go ahead and go over some of the technical details uh, and specifications of the tablet just to give you guys a quick look into that before we go into the final review tablet guys has really good specs on it like the the it has it comes in two colors it has moon gray which is what this one is and then it has a champagne color uh then it has uh, a 10.8 inch screen uh, the resolution is exactly 2560 by, by 1600 of course it has a 3d light field technology which is what lets 3d work here without glasses which is fantastic it has a 3d camera on the back which again is a 16 megapixel camera it has adobe atmos uh, for 3d sound when you play movies and stuff which the sound sounds fantastic on here uh, it has a processor by qualcomm as well uh, so you can rely on all your android apps to work on here really well it has android 10 only weighs 1.3 pounds and the Snapdragon that it has is a Snapdragon 845. Uh, uh, so you're not going to have any issues running anything on there. And then it has a Qualcomm 385 octa core CPU. So uh, a really good specs, 8 gigabytes of RAM and all that stuff, 128 gigabytes of storage. So you guys should be all set for, for running your regular 2D Android apps. Uh, and have plenty of processing power for everything that you would want to do. All right, guys, so that is an overview of everything that I showed you there, on um, everything that comes pre-installed on this tablet. Now, keep in mind, like I said multiple times throughout that video, that you could use this tablet as just a regular Android tablet. Uh, unfortunately, one thing to caveat here is that it can't get upgraded anymore uh, to the newest uh, Android, so it can only go to Android 10, and from what the developers of this tablet are saying in their forms, it can't go any higher because of some compatibility issues with the processor. So it's not going to go any higher than Android 10, uh, but for the $300 sale price that this thing is going for right now, uh, I don't know how long that sale is going to last. It's supposed to be 500 It's on sale for 300 but for $300, uh, you can run any Android application. It has Google Play Store and all that stuff. Uh, it has the Android 10 on there. Like I said, it can't get upgraded any further, but everything runs on it perfectly. Everything runs on it smooth. Um, it's really fantastic, but that's not why you're buying this tablet for. That should be your second reason. If you want to buy just a strictly 2D Android tablet, this is not the tablet for you, obviously. this is That would just be a secondary thing. Obviously, the whole idea of this is if you're a fan of 3D and you want to explore 3D, and that's what this thing has in spades, and there's nothing else like this, and I hope that since this thing has been out for a while and hoping that they're seeing success because they were a startup company and stuff like that, that they have a second version of this coming with some improvements, of course, with the newest Android version, uh, faster processor, uh, GPU, all that stuff that we expect on tablet releases. Uh, I hope that they continue with this because what's here in 3D is fantastic, guys. Uh, like I said, watching either 3D movies that either are in their store or getting your own, um, you know, videos that are SBS format onto here is really simple and easy, and I did that. And it's fantastic to watch those on here. It looks amazing. Watching Avatar on here on a screen that's this close to me is amazing. Because obviously I've watched these movies on my 3D projector before. Uh, and, and my projector is, is huge. But having the quality of those Blu-rays on a screen this small. Because I, the, the rips that I put on here from the Blu-ray are straight Blu-ray copies. So they're like over 20 gigs in size. Uh, and this thing has about 100 gigs available after uh, everything. So it's the 128 gigabyte model and it has about 100 gigs to use after all their pre-installed apps and stuff. So I had 100 gigs to use. And some of my Blu-ray rips are literally over 20 gigs. But the quality is so good that it even looks better in 3D on this thing with the quality that I'm looking at than it does on my 3D projector, which is crazy. Because my 3D projector, of course, looks amazing. But you have to wear 3D glasses, uh, obviously. And it looks fantastic on there. But looking at it on this small of a screen, of course, the same quality of that Blu-ray rip now on a smaller form factor and not having to wear glasses and just being able to prop it up, I can't believe how good it looks. The pop-out is insane. Like some of the, the video clips that people have on there that are shared on that uh, 
social media network that I showed you guys with the videos. If you guys don't have your own, some of those things are insane. The, the, the pop out feeling like it's like this high off the screen and stuff. It is definitely the real deal. And like you guys know, I don't need to tell you this, that I love 3D. And the fact that I can watch my own Blu-ray rips on there, there's a social media network where people are sharing pictures and stuff like that. You can sh take your own uh, videos of yourself, 1080p 3D videos at 30 uh, frames per second with the back cameras. Or you can take pictures at 16 megapixels with the two cameras that are sitting back here. It's freaking awesome that you can take this anywhere and share it with the community and, and see people's pictures that they're taking, which is just really, really cool to see them in 3D and it's a fantastic experience and especially since you can even take 2d things like from youtube and still watch them on here because remember this is a a really high resolution uh screen so this is a uh 2560 i believe by 1440p screen if i remember off the top of my head uh, a resolution so the resolution is really good and it actually lets you play 4k uh 4k videos from youtube so when you take those 4k videos and put them on 4k resolution and then convert them using the app i showed you into 3d on the fly it looks fantastic and you would think that because obviously the content wasn't made for native 3d but now you have all of youtube at your disposal and yes some things are of course better than others but music videos look really good but those uh 4k nature videos and stuff that i showed you guys like the around the world tours and stuff that they do on there fantastic in 3d and how good those animals look like they're popping off the screen with no 3d glasses required uh this is where the future of 3d should have went uh with not requiring 3d glasses like the 3ds did and now this this is why I love 3D so much, and I hope that they pursue this and keep pushing forward to making more content, because obviously this is going to survive on content, because yes, you can do YouTube and stuff, but obviously we want native content to look even better. So, the movie store is fantastic. Keep plugging away and keep putting movies on there as much as possible. Get more games on their store, especially ones that are more well-known, because there's over 100, but only a handful of them are games that people are well-known, even though some of the other ones are actually really fun, so don't sleep on some of them. And all of the games on the store right now are free with your purchase. All of those 100 games are free. Not going to last forever. I don't know when that's going to expire, but they're all free currently, which is awesome. Um... But all of it's going to rely on their content, so keep bringing more games, keep bringing more movies, keep pursuing that stuff, keep bringing cool content onto this thing. I'll be supporting them in the future, and I can't wait to see what they do next with whatever version 2 that comes with this tablet, because like I said, this has been out for over a year now, so obviously upgrades are going to happen. But $300 for this thing, guys, $300 is insane. For $300, you get a full Android tablet with everything you can have here, really good specs, really good resolution. And the fact that it's in 3D and you can watch your movies anywhere in 3D and it looks fantastic, no glasses required, and have access to games and pictures and everything. If you're a 3D fan for 300 bucks, it's a no-brainer for me in my opinion. If you guys want something different uh, and you want to use a, a tablet that gives you something different but also gives you regular 2D apps as well but gives you an experience that you can't get anywhere else, this is definitely something to check out. Uh, this is definitely has a wow factor to show people when they come over. And I'm really, really happy with this thing. I can't wait to continue to watch 3D movies on here uh, and see what they do next. So, as always, guys, if you guys have any questions about what you guys have seen in today's video, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time.